Okay, we're now recording. Um, so today, Christine Fisher and Ann Owens are going to talk about uh, streaming video options at UNCG Libraries. Um, and this is for the Research and Application Webinar Series. And y'all can now take it away. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. And uh, thanks, everyone who's joining. Uh, I'm Christine Fisher, and I'm Head of Technical Services and deal a lot with collections. So I work with my colleague, um, on a lot of streaming things as part of that. Ann? Yes, I'm Ann Owens and I'm an acquisition specialist in the library and I work with purchasing all types of resources for the library, including streaming media. And some of you may also be familiar with Kathy Rothermel. She has worked for years with folks on with DVDs originally and now more um, streaming and the Swank Digital Campus. So um, there are several of us in the libraries who um, are involved with uh, streaming media. So let me get, okay. So our topic today is streaming video, which platforms do the university libraries offer? And here we're gonna start with a sample of our um, subscriptions. We have Ambrose Video, it, it has those um, BBC Shakespeare plays. We have Digital Theater Plus that has performances from theaters in, in England and, um, talks, a little conversations with directors or people who do other kind of, not just the performances, but also people behind the scenes and how they do their work. Uh, DocuSeek is a platform that has a lot of documentaries on social justice, the environment, cultures. We have Films on Demand that has a lot of humanities and social sciences films. And then uh, something with uh, clinical skills, um, psychotherapy.net. Now, those are not our um, major ones, but those are uh, sampling of what we have. This is a, um, a screenshot of our streaming media libguide, and in the green you'll see um, the go link to get to this page easily. Um, on the main screen, which we're looking at right here, the uh, a tutorial that um, Sam created is right there in the middle, and then if you look down near the uh, bottom, it says subscription sources, from that point down, you'll see the names um, and a link to our different platforms and a little summary about what, um, what they cover. So that's just a helpful way to see everything together. And our top three platforms, which are the ones that we are gonna talk about today, uh, based on our last, this, uh, last academic year usage, our academic video online, also known as Avon, and we had over 19,000 uses uh, last year. Canopy with over 13,000, and then Swank Digital Campus with over 9,000. So we think that that's, uh, that shows that these resources are being used and, and are uh, a value in instruction and um, you know, feel that they're a, a good part of our collection offerings. And now I'm gonna hand it off to Anne, who's going to talk about those platforms. Yes, we're going to take a closer look at the three top streaming film platforms. The first one is Academic Video Online, which is Avon for short. It has over 70,000 titles across a wide range of subject areas, like anthropology, business, counseling, film, health, history, music, and many more. These um, collections have unlimited simultaneous users and can be embedded in Canvas classes for courses for easy access, and the films can be found in the library catalog. One of the biggest film distributors on this platform is Film Platform. Their films bring together leading filmmakers from around the world. They have Oscar-nominated documentaries and film festival winners, and some of their films are RBG, A Place at the Table, Chasing Ice, and John Lewis, Good Trouble. Next slide. There are over 800 leading distributors and filmmakers on the, with films on this platform. Some of the top names are PBS, Documentary Educational Resources, the Royal Shakespeare Company, and many more. But there are also 50 different subject area film collections. And this is a, just a sampling of a few of them. There's a counseling and therapy in video. This has up-to-date training and research materials 
and it includes micro training associates videos. And these are designed to help students improve their clinical skills. There is dance online. This includes performances and documentaries and interviews, instructional videos from some of the most influential performers and dance companies. Latin America in video. This provides a comprehensive and unique perspective on this region with films in their original languages, including subtitles for many of the films. LGBT studies and videos features award-winning documentaries, interviews, archival footage, and select feature films exploring LGBT history and gay culture. And then there's Sony classic pictures. They have the classic essential collection as well as the premium collection. And this just has a variety of specialty films such as documentaries and independent and art films from the United States and internationally. Next. So it's easy to share the um, access links to these films. You look for the share symbol on the individual film page. You'll be able to embed the code into Canvas. The embed code takes your students directly to the film from Canvas. There's also a permalink which goes to the Avon film page, but the embed code is the best one to use in Canvas. Next. Another platform that is widely used on our campus is Canopy. Canopy contains about 30,000 award-winning documentaries, foreign films, classic cinema, and independent films. Some of the producers on Canopy are Criterion Collection, New Day Films, California Newsreel, PBS, First Run Features, Media Education Foundation, and DEFA Film Library, which are German films. Canopy provides access to these films for use in classes and research across a wide range of subject areas. The Canopy film page will display a summary of the film's content. Their film details like the copyright date, the film runtime, language, director, studio, and any film awards. Next. Hundreds of Canopy films have been licensed for our campus and are available for anyone in the UNCG community to view. This is some of the top films that have been used over the past 30 days like A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night, The Mask You Live In, Downtown 81, and there are many others. When you want to view a film that is not licensed, complete the request form that comes up when you access the film on Canopy. An email will be sent to you when the film is available to view. The Canopy request can be made only by faculty, staff, and graduate students for class and research needs. Please make the request at least two working days before the film is needed so that the film is available. Many films on Canopy will include public performance rights or PPR at no additional cost. You can use these films to screen these films that have PPR in any group on campus that doesn't charge admission. To identify a film that has public performance rights on Canopy's website, find the film's title page. If the film has public performance rights, you'll see PPR icon next to its runtime below the play button. Films without this icon do not have PPR and can't be used for group programming. They can only be used in the classroom. Canopy also offers trailers for many of their popular titles. If a film has a trailer available, you'll see the trailer button on its details page, and you can click this button to watch the trailer in an embedded video player. This preview option is often requested by users and it helps in determining the film's value for your class or research. Also note that there is a box below the play and trailer buttons with CC to access closed captioning if needed. It's easy to share and embed film links for Canvas. 
Below the film information, there's a share tab where you will find the links to access the Canopy film. The first link will connect to the film title page. You click play the play button to view the film. The embed this video link is the best to use for Canvas. It is, is, it is generated within Canopy itself and will take your students directly to the film to view. Another popular film platform is Swank Digital Campus. It has over 30,000 films, documentaries, and TV shows. Swank offers access to theatrical films selected by faculty for their courses. Swank features, um, has video fi feature films, uh, documentaries, foreign films, and it provides film access to some more contemporary films. Some of the studios included on this platform are Warner Brothers, Paramount, NBC Universal, Columbia Pictures, Lionsgate, MGM, and Miramax. On the Library Streaming Media Guide webpage, there is a tab for Digital Campus Swank. To request access to a Swank film, there are two steps. You search the Digital Campus catalog to view the available film, and then you use the online form to request access to the film at least seven to 10 days before the film is needed. Here's the direct link to the library webpage to access the Swank information. Please note that you have to be an instructor or teaching assistant for a course to submit a request for Swank Films. The important links to access the Digital Campus Catalog of Films and the request form are displayed on this help page. Swank Films must be renewed every year as the films are only licensed for one year from the time of the request. Films from major Hollywood studios are available on the streaming film platform covering many subject areas. Here's a sampling of a few of the film options. These are some films currently licensed by UNCG. Once a film has been licensed, it can be used by any instructor without submitting a new request. It is important to verify the license status to confirm that the film will be available to view when you need it for a class. You must be logged into the Swank Film Library as an instructor to be able to see the license status. Only faculty or teaching assistants for a course can submit a request for a Swank film. After you submit the form, the Swank representative will email you with instructions on how to access the films. It includes a link to the instructor portal and login credentials. After logging to, into the platform, you search for the film. There will be a share dropdown box with share links for the film. The direct link provides a URL address to the film. The LMS link is best for Canvas and shows a hyperlink to the movie title, easily identifying the movie to be viewed. The email for Swank from Swank will have a short training video that explains the process. All right, thank you, Anne, for uh, sharing all that information about our major platforms. Um, We've got a, a kind of a recap of public performance rights, which um, Anne referred to earlier. Uh, so who allows screenings on campus with no fee, but only a UNCG audience? Uh, that would be Avon, DocuSeek, Films on Demand, Canopy. And with Canopy, it's very easy to see. Um, the, Canopy doesn't offer that um, the rights to every film. So you just want to look for that little PPR icon. Uh, you cannot... Uh, screen films that are from Swank Digital Campus. You have to contact them and get a, a quote 
on on whatever feature film you're interested in. And uh, you know, a lot of these things are are films that are you know practically just right uh, right out at, in theaters right now. So um, they they do require us to get screening rights. Um, and then Anne is available to uh, provide assistance with any other platforms if you have questions. So there, there can be kind of issues that come up um, with a faculty member saying, you know, I, I cannot find the film I need on any of your platforms and Swank is not offering it. You know, can I at, uh, have my students watch it or can a library even provide it from the um, kind of consumer uh, video streaming services? And they do not offer options for libraries, for institutions. And in fact, we wouldn't be able to afford it anyway. But at any rate, if um, if you're trying to find a film on Amazon Prime or Netflix, that kind of thing, you um, might choose to have your students um, get a student you know, a subscription for um, the semester or whatever. You just want to, if you're assigning those films, you, you would just include that on the syllabus or the um, required resources at the beginning of the semester so they know to, um, to budget for that. And so uh, we used a, a Slides Carnival template here, so they want us to let you know. And we also thank Sam uh, for her you know, support here during the session, and as well as some of the information that we provided. Um, um, thank you very much. And I'm going to stop share. We can um, answer, we're happy to answer questions if you have any. I have a quick question. Um, I'm. I would like advice on identifying videos, like how about how's kind of the best way to search videos. Um, Cause sometimes I might just have a topic that I would love to be covered or content to covered or hoping that there might be a film that aligns with that topic. And so any suggestions that you have for us, um, I'd really appreciate it. Well, I know if you go to like to any of these platforms like Canopy or Avon, they have a browse or they even offer subject areas. Okay. So you have like a general search bar that you can just put a subject in. Um, with Canopy, I think there's like a drop down from browse where it'll show some different subject areas. Um, and like I said, on Avon, they have a lot of um, collections, like mm -hmm. um, all these different collections. and um, I think they call them more like channels. So sometimes you can search around like that for some ideas. Do I have to go to each platform or is there like an umbrella search engine? Well, the Avon should be in our catalog and Films on Demand, DocuSeek, a lot of them would be in our library catalog. The Canopy Films are, and Swank are not in our library catalog. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm going to just say something from the liaison perspective, you know, at least like, you know, you could email Rachel and say, you know, like, I am looking for uh, gerontology and, you know, this, and um, you and her can search together. Um, you know, like, sometimes faculty will send me in my areas, like, a list, you know, and they'll say, if, you can't find these, you know, like I would be open to alternatives. And then I could say like, well, here's some from here, you know, here's what I found in the catalog. Here's what I found in Canopy. Here's what I found in Swank kind of deal. Um, you know, so keep that in mind. I mean, I, okay. all liaisons are different, but I, I'm pretty confident Rachel would be happy to help you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, that's good to know. Yes. Yeah. Someone is raising their hand. Yeah, Lori. So thanks for this. Um, I use a lot of film in my classes. Um, the way I've been trying to use them um, is to make them interactive. I've been using Canvas because I don't. I want it to be a discussion. But um, my problem is, is that the size of the class I'm teaching is growing. So like next semester, I could have 30 some students and the way I've been using the discussion in Canvas just is going to be kind of difficult for me to keep up with. I'm wondering if anyone does something similar in 
in um, when students watch film to have a question pop up that they respond to. So that's my question. I'm not sure about that. I know that you know, some of these films will offer you the chance to do clips, but I'm I'm I. I'm not sure how that would work unless you had like a slideshow where you had the clip and then the next screen had the question or you had you had a, a link to a, you know, a, a polling um, opportunity. I'm, Sam, have you ever done anything like that? Yeah, um, I so so a lot of these, all of these that we mentioned today don't work within Canvas Studio. Um, and none of them, I will say, um, once you get them, have an audience limit of, of the ones that they talked about. So like once, right, Christine and Anne, so like if we get a canopy one and your class goes up from 30 to 60, that won't make a difference, right? right? Yeah, so, yeah. you know, um, keep that in mind. Like Christine mentioned, some there's clipping tools in every single one they mentioned, and the clipping tools typically give you embed code, which then could be embedded within a discussion um, or a um, any kind of rich content editor within um, uh, Canvas. But um, usually, what happens is I, you know, your ITC, or sorry, now we're calling them something else, right? Um, ATSs. Um, your ATS, like your nursing ATS, Joy and I could like kind of email back and forth and I could say, well, okay, Canopy can do this. Uh, Swank can't do this. Um, we can get you in bed code for this, but not others. Cause not like, they're not all like, you know, like I thought Elisa's question was really good. Cause like, there's not one place where you can search for them and they all work differently, right? Like some provide us great embed code that works great in Canvas and some don't you know, like that they just don't work. So you have to like link out. Like Swank doesn't give us embed code. You have to link out and watch it in another tab. Um, so you couldn't even really clip that. Uh, but Swank is really popular Hollywood films. So if you wanted to use a clip from YouTube, right, that's closed caption um, for just a discussion, but then have the full film available, that's fine too. Um, the only thing we warn about YouTube is that we can't guarantee persistent links. Whereas if something goes wrong with your Canopy links, like we can call Canopy, right? Or email Canopy and be like, hey, like we pay for this, um, if that makes sense too. So, so that what I'm understanding is I can't put these films in my Canvas library. You can't download them as files. Um, some of them- or the, or the links to a YouTube, because I mean, Probably one of the films I've used over the years is a film called Jen Silent. I don't know, Lisa, if you're familiar with that one, um, but it's, um, it's a film, but um, I know that one was different, and I've not tried to make that one interactive like I've had with some other educational videos. So it sounds like if I wanted to use, to use these, I couldn't put it within Canvas the library, pull it forth in studio and put the discussion questions in like I've done some yeah. education YouTube. Okay, well, that, it's just helpful to know kind of what you can use. Yeah, YouTube. so some of them you can't, you know, like um, Avon uh, Academic Video Online uh, does have a clipping tool and I think it does have embed code, but like uh, Swank doesn't, you know, okay. but Swank is very um, popular films, you know, so again, if you're using something from Swank, you might be able to find a clip on YouTube, right? Um, but then we would tell you, you know, like we cannot guarantee that clip will remain on YouTube based on how YouTube does their stuff. Um, so there's way, and again, that's where I would talk to your ATS, you know, and say like, here's, I have the full film, but you know, what do y'all recommend in terms of interacting with the, with Canvas in these interactive ways? Um, I think that's where they can help. I love the questions. I love the discussion. Do y'all, Christine and Anne, did you, do y'all have anything to add to the camp? Sorry, I hopped in on Canvas stuff. I just, I look at Canvas all the time. Well, right. And, and we don't have to go in there, you know, for our day to day. So it, we appreciate you sharing from your perspective. Yes. Yeah. And I think, again, like just to reemphasize uh, something that Elise brought up 
is that we don't have like a Google for streaming vendors. That, that guide that is in the chat and that um, Christine and Ann shared is really your best bet to kind of show you our big vendors and how they work outside of the catalog, but also your liaison librarian. Like I would um, definitely email them too. If you um, are here, because I know some of y'all um, are um, instructional technology support, uh, y'all can email me. My email's in the chat. Um, y'all can email me uh, if you're not with an academic department, um, and I will I will help you. Any other questions? Yeah, Anna says lots of great info. Um, I was a film major, so streaming video is like really near and dear to my heart. <laughs> I, I mean, it's my chance as a librarian to go back to my roots <laughs> of film um, within subject areas. So I love it. Well, thank you, Anne and Christine. This was timed like pretty perfectly. Um, because I got involved in the questions, I forgot to grab my assessment. But if y'all will just wait one second, I will pull up the assessment and then I'll talk about the next one. And we're always available to help you with any questions you know yep. feel free to email us yes i think this is my assessment nope um follow up okay here we go and our next one coming up i think is in december yeah it's on um helping um here's the assessment and then the next one coming up is on, um, let me pull it up just to make sure I say it right. It's by Jenny Dale. And we already have a lot of signups, but come, it's going to be great. Helping students think about how they learn, integrating habits of mind into classroom teaching um, by Jenny Dale. Um, she's head of the Research Outreach and Instruction Department. It's on Thursday, December 1st at 11 a.m. Uh, so for more details and the sign up link, it is here. And I will also be sending a follow up email with the recording, the transcript to this. Um, if Ann and uh, I'll send the link to the streaming guide. But if Ann and Christine want me to share the slides, too, I'm happy to do that. Um, and then um, any questions you have, feel free to email them or me back and um, have a great Tuesday, everyone. I know it's rainy and cold. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. Have a great week, everyone. Bye. Bye.